Hi everyone and welcome back to Macaroon. For this video, I just decided to have some fun with all the squishy materials I could find in my office. I have a lot of custom molds here, some of which you might recognize from previous videos. Then I'm just going to add everything from thermal pigment to Swarovski crystals and see how they turn out. To make the squishy base, I'm going to use Hitohara gel, Sophian Toffee squishy gel, as well as the liquid from this Rainbow Jellies kit. I'm going to start with Sophian Toffee squishy gel, and I'm measuring out equal parts of both. Then I'm adding this thermochromatic pigment from solarcolordust.com. I've had this one for so long, but it still works perfectly. I'm also going to add some UV glitter from AliExpress. This one doesn't work that well, but I really love the iridescent effect. After taking it out, I realized the squishy looks just like Koala's March because the color shifts from orange to yellow. This wasn't intentional, but it looks perfect and so cute. For the second one, I'm going to try Crystal Pixie, which is the smallest type of Swarovski crystal that you can get. This is designed for nail art, and the crystals are less than one millimeter wide. I'm hoping this won't affect the curing process because some resins do not solidify if you mix certain things inside. To my relief, this one turned out just fine, and the effect is quite subtle, but still very beautiful. This could also be one of the most expensive squishies I've ever made. This next squishy is definitely not subtle, but it's very aesthetic. I'm using a blue to purple thermal pigment, which unfortunately never worked very well, so I'm assuming this is just going to stay purple. I'm also adding a generous amount of UV glitter. This will sink to the bottom as the squishy cures, and it creates a sparkly surface that you can squish without getting your hands sticky. I've recently started using more color when adding details to my squishy faces, and I think this looks pretty nice, and it doesn't require too much extra work. I still had some purple resin left, so I poured that into the koala mold and added some glitter. I noticed that you can create subtle but effective variations just by changing the color of the nose. Having a pastel blue nose here looks a bit more interesting than plain white. This fantastic buff bear happened almost by accident because I decided to use these multi-chrome eyeshadow flakes. It looks purple-blue in the container, but once mixed into squishy gel, it turns into a golden-green color. It reminds me a bit of glittery honey, so I thought the buff bear mold would be perfect. In the original video, I had some problems demolding the pieces, but this one went a lot smoother. Then I just need to paint on a few finishing touches, and he's ready to hit the gym. Number 5 is one of my favorites from the whole video. I used Sophie & Toffee squishy pigment to create a turquoise shade. Then I added some golden multi-chrome flakes inside. I'm using the Will Shark mold from my microwave squishy tutorial, and if you want to see all the original DIYs, then please check out the links below. This one turned out gorgeous, because turquoise and gold is such a great combination. 
the multi-chrome glitter also gives it a lot of texture and depth. For this squishy, I wanted to repeat the gold leaf technique. I discovered in a previous video that gold leaf has the perfect thickness to remain suspended inside squishy gel. You just need to mix a small piece inside and then break it up. This time, I'm using a pre-made baby seal mold from Sophie and Toffee. I love the aesthetic of this, and it's the perfect shape for squishing. Now we have the experiment using Rainbow Jellies liquid. I made a video exactly one year ago testing this out, and it seems to be a type of silicone. You just pop both colors open and mix them around. Instead of using the mold supplied, I'm going to break the opening with a toothpick and pour it into my own mold. The first thing I notice is that you get very little material. I had to use two packets to fill up the koala, so this isn't really suitable as a DIY material. I also added some glitter, but to my disappointment, it wasn't visible in the final version. I think the only upside to using rainbow jellies is you don't have to worry about it not curing because the final piece will always have the same squishy texture. Bongo Cat is the only one I decided to make using milky Hitohata gel. The mixing ratio is 3 to 1, so I usually go with 18 or 24 grams, which is easily divisible by 4. A tiny bit of the black pigment goes a long way, and I was hoping to replicate the same squishy texture I had in this video. Unfortunately, I added a bit too much hardener, so the final piece felt slightly rubbery. This one turned out okay, but it wasn't as satisfying as I would have liked. Last but not least, we have a blue whale shark. This was actually the same squishy resin I used before making the turquoise one. I made a transparent blue shade and added some blue UV glitter. I like the texture of this one, but I find it isn't as striking as some of the other squishies. I think the base color was just too pale, and I should have used black for the eyes and mouth instead of white. But on the whole, these were 10 great DIYs, and all of them turned out pretty well. I actually have even more, but decided to split this into two parts, otherwise it'll end up far too long. So if you want to see the remaining 5 squishies, plus a few failed attempts, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the upload. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!